Hey everyone, uh, thanks very much for coming back again. Um, thanks for sticking with me. This is March's episode of my autograph uh, collection. Uh, as, as each time, I'm just going to sort of jump straight in and, and go through the autographs that I received through March so um, and tell you a bit of information about them, so hopefully you'll enjoy. Uh, please feel free to comment and leave messages and whatnot below. That would be fantastic. It's always great to, to hear from fellow collectors and anyone else interested in autograph collecting. So, so I'll crack straight on with the one you can see on the screen here. Um, now, there's a bit of a story behind this one. As I've, you'll, if you go to the very top of my page, you'll read that I've put a bit of blurb on there saying that I don't buy autographs from from uh, sort of, I guess what you'd call secondhand sites like eBay, that kind of place, uh, or very very rarely. 99.9% um, .9 of the time, all of my autographs are either uh, in person, through the mail, or bought directly from the Star's own online stores. But this is a bit of an exception. This one. Um, over the years, I've been to a few Comic Cons and that kind of thing, and I've seen Kenny Baker tons of times, but I've never actually got an autograph from him. And I, I, as is always the case, as soon as a celebrity passes away, you instantly regret that time you never got an autograph from them. Like the time I could have got one from Carrie Fisher, but didn't, because I thought, hey, Carrie Fisher will be around for ages. Why do I need to pick up an autograph from her? Yeah, exactly. Um, but um, I'm, I'm a member of a, a Facebook group, uh, which is probably the... Uh, authority in terms of Star Wars collecting. Uh, it's it's heavily vetted. You know, there's nothing sold on there that that isn't 100% guaranteed authentic. And uh, there's a chap on there who who posted fairly recently. He's a very close friend friend of Kenny Baker. I did a bit of research, and you can find him online. It's all all authenticated. He's a very close friend of Kenny's. Um, and sadly, after Kenny passed away uh, last year, I think it was, um, he had quite a few items that Kenny had pre-signed for uh, conventions and, and sort of through the mail contacts etc um, and we're selling some of Kenny's items and, and I purchased this so so this is my Kenny Baker which I finally added to my collection it's a fairly small picture it's only a I think it's a six by four so it's your standard photograph size um, but it's really nice and actually for, for cost wise it was it was really good value it wasn't compared to the sort of hundreds that that people are charging now online um, it was really good value so this is my, my Kenny Baker R2-D2 added to my collection, and I'm really, really pleased to get it. Uh, moving on, the next one is a through the mail. Uh, this is a... Oh, actually, no, sorry, let me let me, let me me rephrase that. This is um, actually an online request um, via the celebrity's website. Uh, it's Chloe Farnsworth, who, who probably most recently has been in the film, uh, or probably best known for the film, Ava's Impossible Things. Um... It's a great film if you haven't seen it. It's well worth watching. Um, Chloe's website is on uh, the video here, and it's on my webpage. You can see I've put a link to it. Um, I dropped her a line via her website. She's such a lovely actress. She got back to me personally straight away via email, um, thanking me for my, my contact um, and saying she'd be more than happy to put an autograph in the post. Uh, came from America. Didn't take a great deal of time at all, and this is the autograph I've got. It's a it's a 10 by 8 so it's a decent-sized autograph. Um yeah, and that was really cool. So if if you if you're a fan of 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 Chloe's and you want to drop her a line, I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Um, you can do via her website. So that's uh, Chloe Farnsworth. Uh, the next autograph I got. This is an in-person autograph. I went to Cardiff Film and Comic Con recently, um, predominantly because there were a couple of actors that I really wanted to meet and 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 get a picture with. Um, not autographs as such. I just went for a, for a photograph. I think it was um, Dave Prowse. That I went to get a picture with. But while I was there, I thought I'd grab a couple of autographs as well, and they were really good value um, from, from two lovely people. The first one here is Elizabeth Webster, and um, she's from Game of Thrones. I, I'm terrible with names. I can't remember the name of the character she played, but um, she was that scumbag you can see in the pictures there, uh, a, a stepmother. Um, and I, I won't go into what happens not long after this photograph. Um, she actually didn't like the picture. She said she wished it she didn't have it on the desk. She said, what comes next is pretty horrible. I won't spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it. Um, but she signed it for me. Dear Carl, really lovely to meet you. Elizabeth Webster. So that's Liz Elizabeth. And there she is signing my picture as well. I always try and grab a, a sort of a picture of the person signing if I can do it just... You know, adds a little something to the autograph. So yes, yeah, so that's Elizabeth Webster from Game of Thrones, and the the other one I picked up. And actually, this I said I only went to get uh, the photograph with Dave Prowse, but actually I, I did go for this specifically as well. Uh, it's Terry McMinn who plays Pam from the original '70s Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, again, pretty 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 gruesome picture uh, from the iconic scene where she's 
uh, impaled on a meat hook and, and left to hang by uh, Leatherface. Um, I, I love this one. She's put to Carl. Oh no, Saturn is in retrograde, which is one of the her quotes from uh, from the film. Sign it, Pam and Terry McMinn, which is really cool. Um, and here she is signing uh, my picture. She's lovely. As soon as she signed the picture, she darted round the table to get a, a selfie with me as well, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, so those are my two in-persons from Cardiff Film and Comic Con. Um, I, for those who've sort of kept up with my previous um, videos you'll, and, and been on my site, you'll know I, I normally tend to go each year to London Film and Comic Con, which is the, the biggie. I'm not going to go this year. It, it was just so expensive, and um, there's there's a few other smaller cons that I'd really like to go to this year, so I've decided not to go to London Film and Comic Con, although I may, may, I may use their um, online ordering service to purchase a couple of um, autographs, but we'll, we'll see down the line. If, if I do, you'll see those um, further down the line. Uh, the next ones I got were through the mail. Uh, this was actually via venue. Uh, it's from Conlith Hill, who plays Varys in Game of Thrones. Um, he's currently in Who's um, Afraid of Virginia Woolf in, in London. Um, I think it's still on at the moment. I'm not entirely sure. I think so. Um, I did try and meet him at the stage door, but unfortunately it was at a matinee time and he didn't come out, which was a real shame. Um, plus the fact that at stage door he was only signing st um, show related items, only signing ticket stubs, programs, that kind of thing. But I saw a few people had successes from him, so I printed off these two pictures. I did one Game of Thrones picture, which you can see here, and I thought, well, as he's, as he's not very keen on signing non-show related stuff i also printed off this picture of him uh which is i think a promotional picture for who's afraid of virginia wolf so i sent both of them uh via venue and got them both back literally within about two days it was just a ridiculously quick turnaround i think in via venue might be the way to go from now on as i'm really struggling with through the mail returns at the moment i've had very little back so far so so that's another one for the game of thrones collection from conlith hill and and also that one as well which is really cool so yeah that was a great was great success i think from from conlith uh the next one i got was a purchase and this is from tim rose i actually purchased this through tim's website uh i've put a link to his website on the site on my site as well so if you want to purchase yours you can do um tim probably best known for um ad playing admiral akbar in um in Star Wars, but also he was Howard the Duck in the film of the same name as well, the eponymous hero, as you were, in Howard the Duck. Um, he charges £20 for an autograph, so I purchased this one, uh, which is his Admiral Akbar, Tim Rose. I think anyone who's a Star Wars fan has probably got this exact same autograph, if I'm totally honest. I did actually request something a bit different, but um, he didn't sign it. He just signed it as a trap Admiral Akbar, which is fine. It's cool that, and everything. Um, but what he then did is he also included this one, uh, for free. So essentially it was £10 an autograph, which is really cool. Um, he was also Salacious B. Crumb in um, Return of the Jedi, so this one, I like it, it says, hey Carl, spot the ugly one, Salacious B. Crumb. So, so yes, yeah, so that was really cool. So two Star Wars responses there from a purchase via Tim Rose's website. And the final one for this month um, is my only proper through the mail, really, uh, and it's Don Warrington, who is probably best known for um, Rising Damp, but he was also in Doctor Who as well, so those are the two pictures I sent him. Um, he, he signed in sort of um, biro, I guess, so so it's not very very clear, but hopefully you can see it just above his head and across the um, the top of the picture in, in this first one, and then he signed, as you can see, down down his chest on the um, the Rigby picture from um, Rising Damp as well. So that's really cool. Um, obviously, a, you know, a, an actor with a lot of um, fantastic stuff that he's been in including Doctor Who including Rise and Damp so that was a really good one and I think this was pretty quick as well possibly two months maybe turn around on Don so so yeah that was really cool and and that's basically it for March so a bit of a mixed bag not much through the mail but some online requests a couple of purchases and some in-person stuff as well so really pleased with that um I don't want to give away too much so far in case it doesn't work out, but there should be at least one or two really interesting ones coming up in April. So um, keep a lookout for that. Uh, if all goes well, I'm going to hopefully be really, really excited to show you the autograph that I'm going to get um, in the next couple of weeks. So that will be coming out probably um, at the start of May. So again, as I said at the start of the video, any comments, anything, pop them below. Always appreciated. Ask any questions. Please like, um, subscribe if you haven't already. Awesome to have you back again. Thanks very much, folks, and speak to you again real soon. Take care. Ta-da.